Hello and welcome back to the online sociology lesson series. In this section I'm going to be looking at the technique for this 10 mark question and do an example based on question 3 for paper 1. The idea here is that you can take this framework for answering questions into the example and apply it to the questions that will be set for your final exams. If you need a reminder of the technique for answering the short answer questions 1 and 2 on paper 1 then please see my previous video. With our focus here on question three, please take a note of the instructions above from the front page of your exam paper. Questions carrying 10 marks or more should be answered in continuous prose. In other words, you're required to write with full sentences and paragraphs. That means no bullet points or no lists here, please. As I said previously, all three of your sociology exam papers are going to be marked out of 80 and you're allocated two hours for each paper. This means that we can use the same general timing rule for every question on every paper, which is to spend a minute and a half, a minute and a half per mark. Therefore, for question three on paper one, that's worth 10 marks. As a rough guide, you should be spending 15 minutes on this. The good news is the same command words will be used across different papers and topics. This means the same skills and structure can be used. Obviously it will have to include information relevant to the different topics, but this question type will appear as question three on paper one on education, twice, once in section A and once in section B of paper two, and again as question three for crime and deviance in paper three. The command words will always be the same, applying material from item analyze two that will be worth 10 marks. Given that we know that this question type will appear on every paper there are a few general rules that can be applied here. Firstly it's worth 10 marks therefore spend 15 minutes answering it. Secondly you must do as the question asks. Applying material from item A means that you must use a quote or hook from the item to answer this question. More on this later, but for the time being, general rule number two is to read the question and item very carefully. As always, think very carefully about what the question is asking you to do and make sure that you pay close attention to every word, including looking out for very subtle wording, such as the use of identities, as in plural, compared with the single identity. Thirdly, since the question will be asking you to analyse two ways, reasons, criticisms, etc., it makes sense that your answer will be in the form of two paragraphs, which leads us to the next point. There is no need for a separate introduction or conclusion to this question. Indeed, the examiner's report states these are not necessary and are unlikely to gain additional marks, and they also take up time. The focus here really is on those two paragraphs. The reason it's so important to read the item in question carefully is because you must use a section of the item selected as a quote or sometimes referred to as a hook as the launch pad from which your answer will take off. This quote or hook will form the basis or link from the item to the question that you're answering. As well as the hook or quote from the item launching your answer, you must also refer to sociological concepts, we sometimes call these key terms. Evidence from named sociological studies, theorists and theory where necessary, is needed in your response to this question. You can also refer to statistics if necessary, relevant examples will help you to add more detail, but the key thing to remember here is that it will always be necessary to develop your answer with reference to sociological evidence, so that's why learning terms and findings from studies is such an important part of your revision. Throughout your answer to this question, and this is relevant for your essay responses as well, make sure that you show the examiner the relevance of what you are saying. This is sometimes referred to as a chain of reasoning and it could mean you're using phrases such as this means that or the relevance of this is. This is what analysis is really all about. I once heard of it referred to as milking a concept for all it is worth if that phrase helps you here. When you're using studies show how or why the findings help you to answer the question. Nearly there. Well not quite. The last step is to select a different or second hook or quote from the item and develop your second paragraph, again using concepts, studies and evidence, but be careful to make sure that it's different from your first paragraph. 
but still answering the question. If you want to break the timing down even further, then your 15 minutes for two paragraphs becomes seven and a half minutes for each one. Remember, these are the rules for this type of question that you can use across all three papers. Remember the command words, applying material from item A, analyze two, is gonna be the same across all three papers, meaning the general rules that we've just looked at can be applied in each separate case. Have a look at this question and write your answer. Set yourself a 15 minute timer, then press pause while you write it out, and then compare it to the points that make up a top mark band answer response that we'll have a look afterwards. Press pause now. For me, these are the two most obvious quotes or hooks that you could use to develop your answer to this particular question. Uh, and we're looking to uh, develop your answer to analyse how the education might serve the needs of capitalism. Based on the general rules discussed earlier, this is just my thinking in terms of adding a bit more detail on how you might develop these two quotes. The first quote could lead to a discussion of the first way the education system might benefit the needs of capitalism, and that is via what Marxists would describe as the reproduction function. The second quote could lead to a discussion of a second way, and in this case, a discussion of how Marxists see education as serving the needs of capitalism by legitimising inequality so as not to overthrow this unequal system. The mark scheme includes the following information for a top mark band answer, that is 8 to 10 marks, as having the following features. These are common elements that could be used for any of this type of 10 mark question across the three sociology papers. As per the asterisk here, the question has mostly asked you to analyse two ways, but also, less commonly, but still occurs nonetheless, it is also asked candidates to analyse two reasons or two effects here. Returning to question three and the example that you've written, this is what the first paragraph would look like. It's often a good idea to start with the quote. But you don't have to do this and you might want to bring the quote in later on. Here I have though, I've identified the part of the item that I'm going to use to answer the question. I've made it clear to the examiner and I've used quotation marks. I now need to develop this quote to help me answer the question. Going back to our general rules list, I need to develop the quote further and the answer in more detail by um, developing what we've written. And the item is giving us a fair number of hints here. Remember, I need to focus on developing my answer in relation to this specific quote that I've highlighted. I need to show how education serves the needs of capitalism and I need to use sociological evidence in my answer. Here, I'm trying to link the part of the quote that mentions how capitalism continues to exist by linking this to theory and the reproduction function from the Marxist perspective. You'll probably need to press pause here to read the full paragraph. In this response, I do make reference to a named study, but what is more important is how the findings are used. Have a look through the rest of the answer again. This time, look for the concepts example and how the evidence is used to link back to the question, as well as the quote. I've highlighted two of the concepts I've used in yellow and the examples in green. The main focus on this question is always going to be analysis, hence the command word. But the mark scheme does state there will be appropriate analysis slash evaluation of two ways. Therefore, any evaluation needs to be in context rather than what's referred to as learnt evaluation or bolt-on evaluation. And that's what I've tried to, tried to show here, and that's highlighted in blue. Going back to my general rules, I now need to select a, a second different hook or quote from the item and develop my second paragraph. Again, I need concepts, studies and evidence, but trying to make sure that it's different from my first paragraph, but still answering the question. Starting a new separate paragraph, I'm going to select this second quote, and this time I'm going to develop it in relation to a second Marxist view, and focus on how this quote will be relevant to Marxists who see education as legitimising inequality so that the proletariat will not overthrow this unequal system as per the item. Here, 
I'm trying to link the part of the quote that mentions how capitalism needs to be seen as the correct or best economic system by linking it to the legitimation function from the Marxist perspective. I've written out the whole of the second paragraph here, and you'll probably need to pause it again to read through all of it. I've highlighted two of the key concepts in yellow, some of the examples in green, and the evaluation in blue. Hopefully the example paragraphs gives you an idea of what to include on this type of 10 mark question, but here is a reminder of the general rules that you can apply to this type of question across all three of your sociology exams.